Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I created this printable stuff to save for. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, New. I want it to be Print, Letter, In Inches, and 8.5 by 11 Portrait. And I want to include margins. Now this could be something that people might put in a binder, so I'll make the left margin 0.75 and the rest by 0.5 inches. Press OK. And there's my template. Now I have pulled up uh, the PDF here just so I have something to give us some guidance on what we're creating here. So I'll go ahead and I think I'll start with the boxes. So I'll go to the left where there is the rectangle tool and I'll drag where I think the rectangle should go. And right now the fill is gray. I'm going to change that fill to none. The stroke is none, and I'm going to change that to, let's try one, and enter. Okay, and I'm going to change the color of that stroke by moving over here, going to the outline, and choosing one of my branded colors. All right, next, let's see, I want one, two more boxes there, so I'm going to take that highlight it, press Option, and move over. And make that my amount box. And do that again. And the rake. I want that one to be perfectly square, so I'm going to go down here to the right. And actually the width I need to leave the same so it matches the rest, but the height I can make 0.43. No, oh, I did that opposite. So I'm going to do Command Z, go back, and make this a 0.344. Perfect. Okay, grab my Move tool. Now I'm going to want this to be all the way towards the edge. And that means this line can be longer. But I do want to make sure that these are all lined up appropriately, so I'm going to go ahead and press Shift select them all and make sure they are all top aligned and spaced horizontally. Perfect. I'm going to right click it now and group it. Press option and drag and drop, drag and drop. I can also highlight what I have here. Press option and drag and drop just so I don't have to do that so many times. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and highlight them all again and make sure they're all lined up and spaced vertically. Beautiful. And I'm going to right click and group. All right, look how fast we did that. Now I'm going to go over here to the left and use my artistic tool to write my words. Stuff I'm going to use a different font there, make it bigger, and then I'll change the color by pressing the solid circle here, and then grabbing from my swatches. You can also double click the circle and put in your branded hex code color there. All right, grab my Move tool. And then I'll add some more text. Now, it is easier to just grab Option, press Option, and whoops, press Option and drag and drop. And then I can use that kind of as a template. Still need to change the font. and the size, and the color. And then Option, drag and drop again. Oops. Okay. 
All right. And next I need to find my dollar sign that I created in Affinity Designer. Let's see if I can find it here real quick. There it is, and it's a PNG. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that right onto the page. And I want that to be green. So I will press green in the upper right hand corner, press option and make it a little smaller. I think I probably had it tilted a little bit. Let's see, here I had it going all the way across. My lettering must have been bigger. And I think I also had this in bold. We'll see if this works. I want these two to be lined up so I can select them both and make sure they are. Okay, my last thing is to put my column headings. So again, I'll grab my tool there and it's going to be huge so before I even start typing I'm going to reduce that mm. highlight I don't want that to be bold so see how it used my last setting there try 14 in a different font And see how when I have my snap tool on, it shows me exactly where to put that. Now what I think is happening here is that I've got too many lines, so I'm going to ungroup all of my lines and then highlight this row and delete it. That'll give me a little more room. Option. And let's see what were my other headings, amount and rank. So I'll make this, whoops, amount, move tool, option, drag. Rank, move tool. And I think this is going to be a little too big. So I am going to go ahead and select all these and make it a 12 point and see if that helps me. You can also press option and scroll in to get a close up look. Now, because these are all together, my snap tool isn't showing me where the edge of this is. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and ungroup that row. Press that box and then the amount and it'll show me right where to go. And that one's just going to have to stay there. So now I'm going to go ahead and press shift and select all three of those and make sure they are lined up the bottoms. There we go. All right. Option scroll out. And now since I gave myself a little more room here, I can play with this a little more. Select four and to save. And make sure they're lined up. And then I'm going to grab this option and drag and drop and put in my web address here. I 
I can make that a little bit bigger. And I'll change the color for fun. Grab my move tool. Put it right at the bottom there. And there we go, we have it. Now to save this, you would simply go up to File. And I usually do Save As. Save, now that's going to save it as an Affinity file so that if I ever want to go back and change anything, I can easily do that. But to save it as a PDF, I would go File, Export, and choose PDF up here, and Export. And it's going to save it to my desktop. Oh, I don't want to replace my other one. Let's see, two. And same thing for a JPEG. I just go to File, Export, JPEG. Same deal. All right, and you can also change uh, the quality if you'd like, if, you, if you're watching your file size here. Uh, for PDFs, I usually don't do that. But for JPEGs, you can certainly do that, or you can just go ahead and save it as is and then run it through another site to reduce the file size. And you can see my PDF showed up right here of what we just created. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you love Affinity Designer.